Hey everybody, it's Ken's Increase here, and I'm going to show you one of my battles, hopefully, as long as I can keep my camera steady. This is one of the online battles that I did, and I am using Gengar, Kangaskhan, and Ferrothorn, I believe. So we will see how this goes. Now, I was pretty shocked with this. But luckily, my Gengar survived and was able to throw in the first hit, or the second hit, with the crit and destruction to this dragon. And as you saw, my Gengar also has Life Orb. And instead of switching it out, I try to go ahead and attack again. But as you see, I found out, I used Gengar as a sacrifice to find out if that had Sucker Punch. And it did. So I sent out Kangaskhan. And with that, I actually have it Mega Evolve. As it sends out... That thing. I think it's Gaston or Gas... I don't know. You, if you know me, I can't pronounce names. I know what the Pokemon is, but I can't pronounce the name. And with this, we are going to do Return. And you can see how awesome my Return is little over halfway damage and then let's see and I knock it out since he switched out I got a free attack in and now comes for the hard battle this really sucks for me because I am a physical attacker and my attack just got lowered from intimidate and now it's the battle of the megas Let's see what we can do. I used Sucker Punch and it failed. It used Sword Dance. So what are we going to do with that now? I actually use Rock Slide to try to make it flinch. And since this is singles, it attacks twice because of the Mega. And I was successful. With that, I then use Return. Try to get its life down a little bit. And now, I go, after this turn, I believe I use Sucker Punch again, and try to hit before it. And as you see, since the Intimidate, my attack is very low. But, I have to make sure I use Sucker Punch first, because if I don't, it will get its Sucker Punch off, and I defeat it. So that is what I do with that. And it fainted, and I win. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'm sorry for the crappy camera.